Hey, today I'm talking about three films featuring the same costume designer, Roger K. First, I first discovered him in the incredible film Ivanhoe. I in particular really loved the costumes there and am cosplaying one from that movie and really wanted to see more of his costumes to see if they lived up to the hype that is Ivanhoe. And spoilers, they did. All of them are incredible, in particular the first one I'm going to talk about, but they're all great. I love them a lot. He was a very, very talented costume designer. Designer. Anyway, the names of the three films that I am talking about today are Knights of the Round Table, Helen of Troy, and Under Capricorn. Also, side note, I know my TV's on, but I lost my remote and I can't turn off my TV. It just has to naturally turn off by itself. <sighs> Not happy about that. Other stuff is... Knights of the Round Table. This is a 1953 film directed by the same guy who did Ivanhoe and starring Ivanhoe himself, Robert Taylor, basically just playing the same character. It also features Mel Ferver as King Arthur himself, an actor I really, really like. I loved him in Lily and he's great in this. So the basic premise is Robert Taylor plays Lancelot and he really wants to befriend King Arthur. And while he's trying to find him, he runs into Gwyneth and falls in love with her before he discovers that oh she's already betrothed to Arthur and that's a whole thing and yeah so it's kind of like a love triangle-y thing and it's great I really loved the story it was really interesting all of the actors did a good job I mean Robert Taylor is really just playing Ivanhoe again but I loved that character so like it's kind of fun to see him doing it again Mel did a great job the action was also like bar none just fantastic Fantastic. Richard Thrope is a master of old school action and the costumes in this one were just uh, so incredible and like he just he went all out on it like there were way more costumes in this one than there were in Ivanhoe and every single one of them was just like how? It's so good. How do you make it just look amazing? And yeah, it's just, yeah, loved it. Loved it. So yeah, as a non-Arthurian expert, I really love this movie and would totally recommend it. It's a lot of fun and interesting and again, amazing action and incredible costumes. The next stoop is... Helen of Troy. This is a 1956 film featuring the French actor Brigitte Bardot, which is the reason why I picked this one. And I thought she wasn't going to be in a lot of the movie, but she was actually in a decent amount of the movie. She plays a slave girl. And it's the story of Troy. If you've seen Troy with Brad Pitt, it's roughly the same plot. And it's again a really solid movie. The action was great. The story was interesting. The actors did good. Honestly, it probably could have been a bit longer. I just didn't connect to it as much as Knights of the Round Table, but it was still a pretty solid movie. I really don't have a lot to say about it. It was just a good movie, good actors. I would still recommend it. Again, the costumes were fantastic. Definitely check out some of these pictures. Roger really, really honestly knew what he was doing. He should have done more movies. It's one of the great Hollywood tragedies that he only did six films, but he <sighs> slam dunked all of them. But again, yeah, I totally recommend this movie. It's good. And lastly is Under Capricorn. This is a 1949 Hitchcock film starring Ingrid Bergman. And the basic premise is this guy goes to Australia to strike it rich, but instead of doing that, he discovers this woman who he used to be childhood friends with and he had a huge crush on as children, but now she's an alcoholic dealing with the emotional trauma of the death of her brother. And he's like, I can fix that. So that's what he tries to do. Now this movie is really interesting because I found it very interesting. It was a fascinating story. Ingrid Bergman gives an incredible performance. She just like goes all out on this person. And Alfred does some really cool long like 10 minute one takes that are incredibly complex and beautiful and just amazing. But yet I found the movie really boring. I kind of stopped caring by the end of it. Like this scene where we find out like a whole bunch of backstory stuff about Ingrid's character. I'm like, I don't really care. I mean, it's interesting, but I'm just so bored. <sighs> 
And that sucks, because it's so interesting. I still ended up putting this movie in the liked category. It was all right, but it's just like, man, I was bored. Would I recommend this one? If you're intrigued, cautiously go into it, because maybe you're not going to be as bored by it. Again, I still liked it. I still thought it was decent. It's just maybe on a different day I would have found it less boring, but man, I definitely did find it boring, so. I don't know. If you want to risk it for the biscuit, go for it. <laughs> All righty, now for today's rankings. First up, we got Knights of the Round Table sitting at number 24 in the really like section. And then after that is Helen of Troy sitting at number 33 in the quite like section. And then bringing up the rear is Under Capricorn sitting at number 43 in the liked section. And this is out of a total of 60 old movies so far this year.